Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna go over how to get more views on TikTok. Make sure you guys stick around for the end of the video because I'm gonna be sharing with you five videos that you can post that work for any niche and I think that each and every single one of these videos are guaranteed to get you over 10,000 views almost every time you post it if you follow all the rules I'm about to share with you. And I seriously think if you watch this whole entire video and implement everything, which 99% of you guys won't, you will get over 10,000 views on every single video that you post. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Robert Benjamin and I wanna help you grow on TikTok. That is exactly why I have the number one YouTube channel for everything that you could ever think about on TikTok. Before I dive into this video, I did wanna thank everybody that signed up for the mentorship program, my private TikTok engagement group, and my recommendations. I really appreciate you guys. It is amazing watching you guys grow and I can't wait to help so many more of you. I've grown to over 560,000 followers on TikTok myself. I've helped thousands of other people grow their TikToks. If you don't believe me, go look up best TikTok hashtags or best time to post on TikTok or how to go viral on TikTok or even TikTok algorithm and tell me who comes up. Let's get right to it. The reason that you guys aren't getting a lot of views on your TikTok videos is because you're doing a ton of things wrong and TikTok is actually suppressing your views and not pushing them out. TikTok literally wants to give everybody on the app free views. That is why this is the greatest opportunity that we have ever seen in most of our lifetimes. But a lot of us are doing the wrong thing to take advantage of this. And I know what you guys are doing wrong because I was doing the same exact thing when I first started. It took me a couple months just to get 2,000 followers. Once I figured out this system and exactly what TikTok wants to be able to get more views and more followers and more engagement and things like that, my growth skyrocketed and I got over 500,000 followers in like 60 days. Like seriously, this is the only app ever that has a for you page which literally just pushes out your content to random people. This is the craziest thing ever. And you guys have the audacity to not just give the algorithm what it wants. Instead, you guys post original content or something totally random, which is why you're not getting any views. It's a very simple equation. You give TikTok what it wants and it's gonna give you what you want. It's gonna give you tons of views, tons of followers, influence, exposure, and authority. Talking from somebody who had this app totally change their life, this is your opportunity to totally change your life. Now there are several things that the app doesn't want that we'll get to in a second, but pretty much all the app wants is content that looks like content that is done well on the app and trending content. It's that simple. They want stuff that they know is going to work and they know people are gonna engage with. I got a DM yesterday and it's it was a huge paragraph. It started off with, I think TikTok is really stupid because they don't wanna push out original content. Well, guess what, Karen? TikTok does not care about what you think. TikTok cares about what their users do and not what their users say, what their users actually do. Because we all, I think 99% of people watching this video right now have had the experience of scrolling through TikTok, looking up, realizing it's midnight and saying, how did that happen? Well, guess what? It happened because they're pushing out content that you want to see and curating content that you want to see based off of the trends and what is going on at the macro level on TikTok and what you interact with and things like that, which is exactly why you need to be putting out content like that, which will then get you a ton of views. I know we all like to think that we're incredibly different and we're not like everybody else, but guess what? At the end of the day, we're all pretty predictable. And trust me, you would have never found yourself scrolling through the app like that if it was all original content because at the end of the day, we have weird thoughts and what we wanna push out on an app might be weird and it's not what everybody wants to see, which is exactly why you need to hop on the trends and do things that people want to see. Too many creators on TikTok or just too many creators in general are focused on putting out content that they wanna put out and not content that the audience actually wants to see. And look, if you wanna throw your hands up in the air and say, well, you know, my audience isn't on TikTok, then one, I will assure you that you're wrong and two, I will assure you that you're spitting in the face of the greatest opportunity of our generation. And I'm not saying that you can't add an original idea or your personality or something like that to the trends, but if it's not with a trending song, a trending sound, a trending content format, all things like that, or a trending topic, then guess what? Nobody's gonna view your videos. This is just how the app works and the simple solution is to just give the app what it wants. Here's how you do that. If you're first starting out, you need to make content exactly like what's on the For You page, what's on the Discover page, and what's under your niche hashtags. If you're already an established creator and you're starting to see a decrease in views, it's probably because you deviated from what I just said and you need to get back to that. So many people start to see a little bit of success and then get incredibly fancy, but guess what? Nobody wants to see that crap. You need to get back to the stuff that you were posting, which allowed you to grow. And that being said, I do not want you guys to build your account off of a single trend. I see all so many people build jelly fruit accounts and brand themselves as jelly fruit or like if 
for a random example, but I could have branded myself as Renegade Rob or something like that when the Renegade dance was big. Yeah, that would have got you a ton of followers within that time period, but guess what? You wouldn't have been able to pivot from that once Jelly Fruits disappear, once the Renegade disappeared, you're screwed. So do not brand your whole entire account around a single trend, but you need to hop on the trends and squeeze as much of that out of that as possible. For example, the Jelly Fruit people, if you were to do something like that, well then guess what? Now you're screwed. You cornered yourself in a hole because Jelly Fruits aren't big anymore. If you had done that and branded yourself that way, you couldn't have moved into Apples or wherever else the trends went. Being an influencer is all about two things. One, staying up to date with the trends and two, being able to constantly reinvent yourself, which is why you cannot pigeonhole yourself into one single thing. Why do you guys think Logan Paul is talking about sex and smoking pot on his channel now? It's not because he lost his mind or something like that. It's because he realized that he's got to let Charlie, Lil Huddy, and all of these other people focus on that younger demographic and he's got to age his stuff up because his audience has gone up in age. So here are five things that you guys need to avoid at all costs because they will get you shadow banned and will get your views suppressed. First, deleting and privating videos. Second, not posting in your country's language. TikTok is an incredibly geo-focused app and this is incredibly important. Three, just posting original content. Four, having terrible lighting in your videos. And five, not incentivizing engagement or leaning into your videos with a really good hook in the beginning. That being said, if you do want views, you need to avoid those things that I just told you and you need to start implementing these. First, use one to two trending hashtags and one to two niche specific or post specific hashtags on every post. Then you need to be posting from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then after 7 p.m. You also need to be posting in your country's language and for God's sakes, if you haven't realized it yet, you need to be posting trending content. In addition to that, you need to insert an amazing hook in the first one to two seconds of the video that's gonna get people to watch. Throughout the whole entire video, you need to support your storyline or whatever the video is with text on the screen. And then finally, to end the video, you need to incentivize engagement or be incentivizing engagement throughout the whole entire post. If you don't do all of these things, one, you're not gonna be putting out good content. Two, you're not gonna be distributing content at the right time or packaging it the right way. Three, nobody's gonna engage with your stuff so it's never gonna get pushed out. You need to signal to TikTok that you're putting out trending stuff that looks like the other stuff that is all out there. You need to put it out at the right time and you need to make sure you steal as much engagement as possible because that's what's gonna get your stuff pushed. And the key to getting higher engagement is gonna be incentivizing it as part of your post. Just so that you guys know, and you guys know, I don't have to say it again, you need above 30% engagement in most cases to go viral with the current TikTok algorithm. But I did wanna share with you guys a little bit more in depth about that. So if people follow or share your content, that pushes it out way more. If people like or comment, that pushes out a little bit less. But if you could get people to follow and share, your post will do amazing. That's why I always incentivize people clicking the plus sign because that's gonna get them to follow. And then I also make content that provides some sort of value at the end, which is like get my best practice worksheet or go to my YouTube channel, things like that. Because if that works, then what people are gonna do is share that piece of content with their friend if they found value out of the rest of my stuff. And since I know I promised it to you guys, here are five posts that are gonna work in every single niche. First, making videos that pose a question and then for each answer you need to ask for engagement. For example, like what color is my hat? Or what 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 is the correct color of my hat? If you think it's blue, double tap this video. If you think it's tan, click the plus sign. If you think it's white, then comment below. 99% of TikTok can't get this right. And then they're gonna think for some odd reason that they're totally wrong or they're colorblind or something crazy or the video skewed in some kind of way but what it will do is get people to engage with your piece of content. You can insert this to any niche. You could have endless pieces of content about this. One of my mentors clients, Eli, is doing an amazing job at this. He's created a video and a content series around like, hey, I have a grandpa, I have an uncle, I have a cousin, blah, 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 that work at said company. They're releasing a new product and I want to show it to you here. And then he's asking people to click the plus sign so that they can see it and double tap and then he shows some crazy thing which is incredibly funny. It's obviously just a parody and incredibly funny, but he's hooking people in with that. He's getting them to incentivize engagement and boom, it's pushing it out to way more people. I'm pretty sure, I, I checked yesterday, I think he had 13,000 followers. I'm pretty sure when he started, he had like a thousand and he started like two days ago. Another great video that always works is saying something random in the hook. For example, if you're doing a dance video, you guys need to realize that you guys need to separate yourself from everybody else. So something great to do, if you're doing the renegade, if you're doing whatever dance is popular right now, I'm, I'm not sure which one, but whichever one's popular, I can't keep up with the dance trends because it's it's just always changing. It's always all over the place. But nevertheless, if you're making dance content, you need to add a hook or something like that that's like, don't mind the hole in my pants or comment when you see it or something like that. And then at the end of the video, say like, click the plus sign if you saw it or something like that so that it will get people to engage. It's also gonna get them hooked in and it's gonna be more than just you dancing. Next, hold your breath challenge. I know you guys have seen this so many times. This can be implemented for any niche. You don't need expensive stuff. The reason that it works, it gets amazing watch time and it gets people to engage. Four, do 
duetting big creators. You guys need to do this. I've spoken about this so many times. You need to be borrowing other people's clout. If you wanted to be next to Charlie D'Amelio in the past, you had to go meet her. Or for example, so many people meet Gary Vee, they run ads with stuff that he does, or they'll post a picture with him, or they'll do whatever, and it ends up getting a ton of views. You guys can do this by just duetting people. You don't need to actually meet somebody in person anymore. You could just duet them, react to their video. Automatically, those things are going to get more engagement because people are going to recognize that person and it's going to start to associate you with that person. Bonus tip, one that is doing absolutely amazing right now. Today is May 18th. I don't know when you're watching this, but anything that has to do with Takashi69 is doing absolutely amazing because he is breaking the internet right now. You need to hop on that. Another thing that works every single time, and this could be used in any niche, is going under your niche's hashtags and copying the top 10 posts. Copy the exact post instead of just copying the entire post though, because I know a lot of you guys are going to freak out about that. Copy the whole entire post, but add in a different hook and ask for engagement and do a better job of storytelling throughout the post. If you do that, I guarantee it's going to get a ton of views. At the end of the day, 99% of you guys that are experiencing issues with not getting views on TikTok, it's because you're putting out content that you want to put out, not content that TikTok wants to see. Once you start doing that, I'm telling you, I don't care who you are, you could get a ton of views on TikTok. It's incredibly simple. If you give TikTok what it wants, it'll give you more views, more followers, more authority than you could have ever imagined. And for those of you that are unhappy with your growth and you want my personalized recommendations, you want me to mentor you, or you want to join the TikTok private engagement group, I'm going to link out to all that stuff in the description below. I quit my job. So this is what I'm doing full time now. And my goal is to help over a million people reach over 100,000 followers on TikTok. I have already helped hundreds of people do this. I want to continue to do this because like I said, this is my goal. My goal is to provide you guys with as much value as possible. If you're not interested in anything that's paid, don't worry about that. I put four videos on YouTube every single week, all about TikTok, staying up to date on the latest things. I have the number one channel on YouTube for TikTok. So make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see all my other content, I'm going to link out to that in the description below. Also, thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you in the next episode.